This is an introduction of MyroCam Capsule Endoscope Procedure. Patient Preparation Patient should stop taking iron supplements one week before the capsule endoscope procedure and should not ingest any medicine at least two hours prior to the procedure. Diabetic patients need to follow any changes to insulin dosage as prescribed by the physician. The patient should fast for at least 12 hours prior to the procedure. Patient may only drink water, no food or other beverages, such as milk or coffee. Physician is recommended to prescribe patient a laxative, such as PEG or sodium phosphate. Patient should ingest laxative 12 hours prior to procedure. Physician is recommended to prescribe patient an oral anti-foaming agent, such as simethicone, to reduce bubbles in the GI tract. This should be ingested after the laxative. On the day of the capsule endoscopy procedure, the patient should wear comfortable and loose-fitting clothes. One-piece clothing should not be worn. Receiver Preparation Nurse or medical practitioners should turn on the computer. Start MyroView Operator and log in. Connect the receiver to the computer via USB cable. Make sure the receiver is turned on. After clicking the receiver button, click Initialize. Please be noticed that if the receiver is initialized, patient information and data will be permanently deleted. After initialization, enter the patient data. Complete all required fields. If required fields are not entered, the patient data cannot be saved. Capsule serial number must be entered. The serial number can be found on the back of the capsule packaging. After entering the patient data, click the Save button. Disconnect the USB cable from the receiver. Attach fully charged battery to the receiver. Describe where the sensor pads will be attached on the patient. Open the bag of sensor pads and attach them to the data cables prior to affixing to the patient. Attach sensor pads according to the color and number on the data cables as follows. To attach pad number one, Locate the center between the umbilical and the xiphoid process. From this center point, attach sensor to the distal point on the right flank of the patient's body. To attach pad number two, place the sensor pad on the xiphoid process line, directly below the midpoint of the right clavicle. To attach pad number three, Place the sensor pad on the xiphoid process line directly below the midpoint of the left clavicle. To attach pad number four, locate the center between the umbilical and the xiphoid process. From this center point, attach the sensor to the distal point on the left flank of the patient's body. To attach pad number five, place the sensor pad on the right pelvic line two centimeters behind sensor number one. To attach pad number six, place the sensor on the right inguinal line, two centimeters to the outside of sensor number two. To attach pad number seven, place the sensor on the right inguinal line, two centimeters to the outside of sensor number three. To attach pad number eight, place the sensor pad on the right pelvic line, two centimeters behind sensor number four. To attach pad R, place the sensor directly below the right clavicle. The numbering of the data cables and sensor pad placement must match the specified area. Connect the receiver. After attaching the sensor pads, have the patient sit up and connect the data cables to the receiver. Turn on the receiver and check the battery indicator. The SIG indicator should be orange, and the INI and BAT indicator on the receiver should be green. 
If the INI indicator is orange, the receiver needs to be initialized. If the BAT indicator is orange, the battery needs to be charged. Swallowing of capsule. Open the capsule packaging and take the capsule out of the case by the opaque plastic capsule holder. Check to see if the capsule light is flashing. Instruct the patient to hold the capsule by the gold bands between the forefinger and thumb of both hands. After the patient grasps the capsule, check if the signal indicator on the receiver is green. Ensure the indicator is green prior to ingesting the capsule. Ingest the capsule with water. Place the receiver in the receiver pouch and adjust the straps to ensure the patient is comfortable. Place the excess cables in the cable bag. After completing ingesting of the capsule, the patient should be informed what to do during the procedure, as follows. Patient should drink at least 250 milliliters of water every hour during the procedure, beginning from the first hour. After four hours, the patient can start with light food, liquid diet. Do not exercise or lift heavy items. A daily activity, aside from strenuous activity, is permitted, i.e., daily activities including walking, sitting, driving, etc. Avoid MRI rooms at the hospital. Do not use an electronic blanket or electric heating pads. Use of computers, radios, audio sets, and cell phones are allowed. Do not come in direct contact with other patients who are undergoing the capsule endoscope procedure. Do not touch or remove the parts of a receiver, data cables, or sensor pads. Patient may loosen the bag, but the receiver pack should not be taken off. After 12 hours from the start of the procedure, the receiver will turn off automatically and the patient can remove the receiver. Uploading images after patient procedure. After finishing the procedure, patient should return the receiver to the hospital. After the patient returns the receiver to the hospital, take the receiver unit out from the receiver pouch and detach the data cable and battery from the receiver and place the battery in the charger. Start MyRoView operator and log in. Connect the receiver to the computer via the USB cable and turn the receiver power switch to the on position. In MyRoView Operator, click on the Receiver Mode icon to manage the receiver. Click the Upload button, and when the progress bar is full and the complete message appears, the upload is complete, and MyRoView Server will automatically start the analysis process for the corresponding patient file. This was a quick introduction of MyroCam Capsule Endoscope Procedure. Thank you.